A GDF is designed to isolate our most hazardous radioactive waste up to hundreds of meters deep underground and contain it in a highly engineered underground facility while the radioactivity decreases naturally. This will prevent the radioactivity from ever reaching the surface in levels that could cause harm. To make sure harmful levels of radioactivity don't get up to the surface, we need to protect against two things. Radioactivity being carried in fluids, water or gas, and natural or human events that might lead to the release of radioactivity. So when we plan where to site a GDF, we're looking for places where fluids move very slowly, if at all, and that means finding one of three broad rock types, granite, clay, and evaporite, or rock salt, that are potentially suitable as host rocks. We also want an environment that is geologically stable. In the UK, we're fortunate to have a very stable geology compared with many other locations around the world. We're not near to any key plate boundaries or active volcanoes, and we're not prone to significant earthquakes. The oldest rocks in England and Wales are about 700 million years old. The rocks we will be considering for a GDF, like this example from the Mercia Mudstone rock formation, have remained deeply buried and stable for millions of years. Therefore, they'll hold waste safely for the much shorter time period needed for the waste to decay, so that it will no longer cause harm. We'll analyse the rock at the specific site and design the engineered barriers to make best use of the geology. The site will be tested for suitability at every stage to ensure its long-term safety. If we can't satisfy ourselves and the independent regulators that a GDF at that location will be safe, the project will not go ahead.